Hey guys, I am Daisho and I am here playing some magic and I am playing the elves today. I do not have enough land. If I had two lands, I probably would, would have kept, kept this hand all day. But I have too many expensive cards and too few lands. This hand is pretty good. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I do have Nisa's Chosens. He's playing elves. Also, alright, well let's see whose elves are better. I've got Heedless One. Hopefully I draw another Heedless One. Typical Timing has sent you a message. Uh, GG, Daisho. I, I got a decent hand. Great channel, by the way. I just played somebody. I don't think I am going to upload that game. I made a lot of mistakes, and I really wasn't proud of my commentary or my performance. And for the most part, I upload all the games that I play. But every once in a while, I just get into a game where I just feel like I don't provide good content. And I don't know, maybe some of you guys enjoy watching me struggle. But I think the majority of you guys just want to see good content from me. So when, when I say I upload, I mean, I don't say I upload every game. I used to upload every single game I played, but like I'm only going to upload games that I think you guys will enjoy. So I say I'd probably, um, of the games that I win, I mean, <laughs> of the games that I upload, I win like 75, 80% of them. And I'd say I pretty much win 60% of the games that I play. I don't know. I mean, those are just really, really rough estimates, but I don't want to give off the impression that I am this magic god who wins every single time they play. Fuck, he's got, oh wait, that actually gives my dudes forest walk too. Forgot about that. And I have a fog and a might of the masses, so I think I might win this game. But <laughs> that was... That was a little bit of a risky play there to play. He didn't swing in. Does he understand what forest walk means? And Elvish Prama fucking made. I am. I'm. I'm psyched. I am really psyched right now. Um, there is no reason to not swing in here. The only reason to not swing in here is because he doesn't realize that <laughs> um, what it does. But I think I win in three turns because I play. No, in two turns. Because I play Heedless One next turn, who's huge, and then the turn after I can either Promenade or my Masses, either or, it doesn't matter. And I, so I guess this turn, I, do I fog the, the, the 4 damage? No, I don't think so. Thank god Jagged Scar Archers is just equal to the, archer, um, the creatures that you control. If he really doesn't swing in here, then I'm going to claim him uh, to be one of the worst magic players I've ever met because understanding a simple concept like forest walk is pretty easy and the fact that he can't do it is kind of pathetic oh wow it would have only been two damage because Elvis Champion doesn't um doesn't even help him help his team out he's just he's just a, I mean he doesn't help himself out he just helps his team he's a team player guys he's a team player but um I for sure win the game next turn all I have to do is use might of the masses and even without that, I still have, thir I have 13 damage on the field. So if I draw the land, then I definitely Elvish Promenade and then Might of the Masses. That way I can do like an extra six damage because an extra three because he this one gets three stronger and then an extra three because Might of the Masses is an extra three. But <laughs> everything, everything revolves around getting an extra three of something. But this guy clearly didn't, tr I mean, I guess you can run this guy Wildheart Invoker, I don't like to run it. It's a 4 cost 4-3, four, and its ability is almost useless. So 4 cost 4-3 four, isn't that good, but I don't like it in the elf deck. Um, I like my 3 and 4 drops to help my other creatures. That's why I don't run TJ anymore. I don't even remember. Titiana's Chosen, is that what it's called? The one that gets better every time you play uh, a green spell. This guy's probably confused out of his mind, by the way. He's like, why isn't my shit working? I'm so confused. Why can't I block? But anyway, that's why I don't run TJ anymore. I used to run him, but decided against it now. I don't think it's really the best idea. If he had been swinging in this whole time, I wonder wonder if I would have still won this game. I think I would have because I have Fog, so I could have survived an extra turn. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this super, super quick beatdown. I'll probably just throw another game on top of this, so I'm not even going to say bye. Okay, I am. Have a nice day, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. I am Dasho, and I am here playing some Magic. Still running that Elf deck. And I think that this is going to be a good game, and my hand confirms it. Like, the thing about running this deck as a mono deck, monocolor deck, you're never going to have a bad hand. Every single card in this deck is something that you want to have in your starting hand. That's what I love about this deck. Like, the only card that you could argue... No, I can't even think of... Like, is Plummet. Okay, fine. Plummet. Plummet is the only card in this deck that you can argue you might not want to see in your starting hand. But everyone else is just like, oh, I love this card. I'm so glad that I have it. I hope I don't hit Jirago or Caller accidentally. That would suck. But, I mean, like, I almost clicked on him. 
All I need is one more land here, really. I guess two more, because I want to play this guy for five. He gets gives all my creatures plus two, plus two if I play him for five, which is uh, pretty nice. But anyway, I have my Viridian Emissary, so that's pretty much guarantees that I will get that land eventually. But I think I'm going to play Elvish Visionary. I always like to draw cards as soon as I can. It opens my options, opens the door. Though this guy does swing in for more. I don't know. Maybe I'll just draw that land this way and then I won't even care about the Lanzos. There we go. Got all the lands I need. Oh, wait. I just... Sorry. I wanted five. Fine. I'll play Viridian Emissary. But I'm not going to play him for a while. Gonna, next time I'm going to play Jagged Scatches. And then the turn after I'm going to play Heed. I always want to swing in with my 1-2 because, like, let's say let's say they're, they have a 1-2 out, then that was, I mean, that line of thinking was going nowhere. So I'm just going to restart. I always want to swing in my 1-2 because what if he doesn't block? Like, there's absolutely no reason for him not to block, but he didn't. So, I, I mean, I just win. Like, there, there's absolutely no reason why he shouldn't block. Some decks, it makes sense, because some decks have, like, deals one damage, deals two damage. But this deck has nothing like that. So there really was no point in him letting that damage do, except to give me an extra damage. So, I win. I'm happy. Daisho was happy. But I have two heeds. Even if I don't draw the land next turn with Joraga Warcaller, then I don't mind. Because I can just play another heedless one the next turn. Oh, so you're just rubbing it in my face that you can get land whenever you want. I see how it is right now. You and your pilgrim's eyes and, and stuffs. That's not what I wanted to see. Ha ha. Same one. And then what else you got for me? Another a golem's eye. An eye of a golem. That is kind of creepy, but really not big a deal. Not big deal. Oh, no big deal. That was kind of racist, sorry. <laughs> uh, Elvish Eulogist. I think I play this guy and then swing in with uh, Scar Archers and 1-2. Norwood. I hope he kills Norwood. No, I hope he doesn't kill Norwood. That would really suck if he double blocked and killed Norwood. I mean, I still get four damage through, but that would kind of suck. You're just going to block that guy. That makes sense. And you're going to let the one damage go through again for no reason. So, that I mean, Pilgrim's Eye really did his job. He just wanted to make his land drop, which was nice. I guess next turn I don't even play Joraga, even if I do draw land. I just play Heedless One and Elvish Eulogist. Sleep. Nighty night, team. Have a nice nap, see you tomorrow. Not tomorrow, the next day. These guys are sleeping all day, and they're, they're just not coming to work today. They're like, you know what, fuck it. We're, we're tired, we do our jobs, and this is a terrible analogy. So, yeah, because if I draw two more lands, if I draw a land next turn, then I can wait. Actually, I mean, I'm just going to play Draga next turn anyway and win. Because, I mean, I'm going to have seven, I'm going to have two nine nine tramples including and then another this dude's also going to be nine nine these guys are going to be three threes three four i'll be fine i'll win this game with pretty much relative ease so this this deck it just it runs so quickly like there's so few situations where they build up like a stellar defense and can't do anything but by the way the reason now i now i just want to save it but the reason why i'm doing so well this game and he isn't is because oh he has stoker bottle Ugh is because he doesn't have he doesn't have stoker bottom is because he didn't trim his deck that's literally the only reason why i'm winning he he's drawn all these terrible cards like oh do you think i care about that i mean i care a little bit about that but do you think i care about that i do kind of care about that <laughs> at least i only had to throw away one i forgot that i was i would have thrown away elvish visionary but i was thinking that i had to throw away two but he only has one low blocker but anyway i mean i'm still swinging like he should there's it's pretty okay never mind that was a really, really quick game. This deck always just beats people's faces in super quickly. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye.